What's up, y'all? What's up, ladies and gents? It's your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Back at it again. Yeah, boy. I'm talking to you, boy. You, boy. Anyway, I don't do a YouTube video like that no more because they be restricting me and all that craziness. But I had to come through and do this Godzilla versus Kong spoiler review. Yay, yay, ye. This, and I got the Godzilla shirt on. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, Godzilla boy. Team Godzilla all day. Don't ask me what team I'm on. I ain't on no damn King Kong side. Even though I'm a big fan of King Kong. I love all the King Kong movies. I'm the biggest fan. I'm even a bigger Godzilla fan. Kong, get the fuck out of here, boy. It's Godzilla time. So anyway, this is a spoiler review. I'm real happy to do the spoiler review. Because don't ask me. To do it. I ain't going to do no half-ass type shit. This is spoiler review, boy. So... This is for the review. Get up on the page right now if you don't want to be spoiled by this. Because this, this one's a kicker. This one's a good one. This is, the, this is Mike Tyson versus Evander Holyfield. This is Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier. Muhammad Ali and George Foreman. The Thriller in Manila. Rumble in the Jungle. This is one of the biggest fights of the century. And we get to see it on HBO Max. Oh, yeah. So let me tell you what I like about the movie, what I don't like about the movie. Let's start about the shit I don't like about the movie. What I don't like about the movie? <laughs> the story doesn't make sense. We didn't come to the movie expecting a good story in the first place. That's me. I just... Fuck it. Dumb it down, make it dumb, make it stupid, make it dumb. They did that. I didn't like the, certain things. Things don't make sense, okay? Um, what else I don't like about the movie? I guess I don't really hate Millie Bobby Brown, but she really doesn't serve much of a purpose to be in this shit the way that she is. Other than to kind of get us from point A to point B in certain parts of the movie, which doesn't make any sense. Anyway, there's a few human characters that don't belong in this fucking movie. But anyway, that's another thing I don't like. Um, what else I don't know, like? I don't like how they captured King Kong and we didn't even see them, how they how they went about it. You know what I'm saying? They just, all you see is King Kong on a boat. You know what I'm saying? One, you see King Kong in a, 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 on Skull Island, or what appears to be Skull Island. He's in like this containment facility. We don't even know how they got him there. So, that's another thing. But the next scene, he's just he's stretched out on the boat. Um, in the helicopter, and they drop him off, and all that shit. We don't see how they did it. We don't, see, we don't get to see how they did it. They skipped it. I guess they did that for time time purposes or whatever. 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 Um, the ending of this movie. I didn't like it. I did not like the fact that Mega Godzilla was in this movie. I didn't like the way Mega Godzilla looked. This movie reminds... When they did that with Mega Godzilla, this reminds me of Batman versus Superman. When they fucked around, put Doomsday in there out of nowhere. So they can stop fighting and be united with one another so they can fight a bigger threat. That's, uh, you could, it's nitpicky, whatever, but I don't like it. I don't do that. I don't like that. Uh, what else don't, don't I like? Um, I think that's all that I don't like. What I do, actually, hold on, I got one more thing I don't like. I don't really like. The time of this movie. I wish it could have been 20 more minutes longer. I could have went for another fight. Before Mega Godzilla popped up. I could have went for another one man. I ain't gonna lie. It's a, it's a, it's a pro and a con with the time is. But it was perfect for what this movie was. You know what I'm saying. Now the pros. That's plenty. King Kong and Godzilla. Enough said. They gave us the fights we wanted. And they were good fights man. They gave it, They were really entertaining. And uh, the movie wasn't slow. 
It wasn't slow. It wasn't boring. It was visually great, man. This was a visually great movie. Um, Godzilla gave King Kong that work in this movie. Let's just keep it a buck. Godzilla won. Round one, Godzilla won. Round two, Godzilla lost. Round three, Godzilla almost killed King Kong. But he had, he, he pardoned him, man. He gave him mercy. He said, fuck that. Tap out, bitch. And then it did, it did, he let his foot off King Kong's chest and stuff and let him live. He's like, yeah, you do the shit again. I'm going to fuck you up again. I'm going to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Godzilla was not playing with King Kong, man. Godzilla was not playing them games. All right? Godzilla won. He whooped King Kong at. For all you on Team Kong, <laughs> how does it feel to be on the uh, loser circle, you suckers? Jive, Tucker ass, fool. All right, this is one, 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 uh, this is one uh, con about the movie. This is one thing I didn't like. I liked it, but I didn't like it. Godzilla all of a sudden is way faster than he was in the other movies that he was in. It's like it was necessary, but it was like it was inconsistent with what they're doing with Godzilla. Like the first two movies, he was really slow. This movie, just as fast as King Kong. You know, um, I don't know. I, I guess that's it's, you can nitpick that one. But you know what? It was entertaining enough and fun enough to just accept. I I, I loved it. Um. Shit, they did King Kong kind of dirty. I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> they had my man in chains, like, like he was Kunta Kinte in Roots. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, um, overall, I really enjoyed this movie, man. I like the fact that God's God's little toss King Kong. At, yo, better toss the fuck them up. King Kong fucked up. God's little fucked his arm up. Almost blue King Kong, new asshole, boy. You know what I'm saying? So, look. I ain't gonna go into too much detail. I just came on here to, 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 because I'm happy about the movie. I'm happy about the movie. I'm glad the movie happened. I'm looking forward to new Godzilla movies with King Kong in them, maybe. This movie worked for me because it was entertaining. The build-up to it was great. It was a fun movie. Take your, just leave your mind, leave your brain somewhere else when you watch it. Cause it's a lot of dumb shit. It's a lot of dumb shit in this movie. Fucking heat cut on when I'm talking. That's all right. If you hear some noise in the background, just know it's a damn heat. But look, this movie was tight. The fights was tight. Team Godzilla all day. I've been telling everybody and their mama. Now guess what? Guess what? Godzilla, Godzilla put in that work, boy. If you can't hear me because the heat on, fuck it. I'm going to give this movie an 8 out of 10 because of the entertainment value. And it was fun. It could have got a 7 because the way the movie ended. It just abruptly ended with no after credit scene leading to no other movie. So it just it was weird in the ending. But at the end of the day, it was a fun movie. I think everybody should watch it. You can nitpick. You can say, hey, King Kong won because he got more of this and this and that and there. Whatever. Oh, another thing. This is not, my, my shit inconsistent just like the movie. Hold on. Hold on. There's another inconsistent thing. The way King Kong got the axe with Godzilla uh, spine on the back of it, it didn't make no fucking sense. Why would he go on a mission, like on some stupid shit like Thor and, and freaking Infinity War to get the freaking Stormbreaker? And you. You do all this just to get a weapon? I'm thinking the whole time he gonna pull Godzilla's spine out, one of his spines out his back, and, and wrap it around a tree and fight Godzilla with it, make an axe into it. But it was it was like that was just bullshit. I mean, they could have this movie could have been way simple with some of the things they did. But anyway, the fights is all we came here for, man. And uh, you know what? They delivered on, on that. They gave us what we wanted from that, and. uh 
We ain't here for no damn story. This shit don't make sense. It don't have to. We just here for the monsters to fight. The monsters to direct mayhem on fucking cities. You know what? And they did that. They did that. They, this movie get an 8 out of 10 from me, man. I'm Dwayne Hurd. Like, subscribe. Put in the comments below what you like, what you didn't like about this movie. Because uh, I want to know what everybody thinking, man. Were you Team Godzilla or were you Team King Kong? I'm out, man.